Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I am your girl Beauty Balanoria across all my social media platforms. If you would please go ahead and thumbs up this video, subscribe to my channel, and of course get a conversation started with me in the comment section below. But as you already guessed it from the title, we're about to do a massive perfume and cologne haul and some scent recommendations for you guys. It's listed as fragrance.com, also known as fragrance.net, but they've recently changed their name based on the invoice that they sent me to fragrancenet.com. So I don't know. I know when I put in a different site, it all takes you to the same place. This came in on the 5th of November. So six and a half, seven days later is when I actually got my order from the time I actually placed it. So if it's something that you see you guys want or if you're planning on a re-up, I also have a coupon code for you guys that they actually sent out to me. Okay, so you guys can get 25% off and your coupon code is BTYCT. That's Boy Thomas Yellow Charlie 7. So that'll get you 25% off of anything on their actual website. But if you're ready to see what we got in this haul, let's keep watching. You're my one taking me home. For they really do I absolutely love Elizabeth Art and Sunflowers. It is just stunning, stellar, and amazing. It smells like fresh sunshine and it's 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 a scent that projects it's a scent that'll stay with you uh easily 10 to 16 hours you'll still be able to smell it it is a heavy but not obtrusive scent it is one of those scents that i would more or less say it's a traditional scent from the 90s but it's a scent that's timeless. If I was to ever just have a traditional scent, and it has a lot to do with my dad had bought one of them for me, and since he's passed on, it's just one of those scents every time I spray and wear it, I always think of, it's, you know, just my time with my father. If I had to pick only one scent to ever wear, ever in the world again, because of this tie to my father, it would probably be Elizabeth Arden Sunflowers. One, I love the scent, it's an amazing scent, but I also have a sentimental tie to it. So the first one is the Sunflowers. Now, the other ones that we got in coming in from Elizabeth Arden uh, were different variations of the actual Sunflower scent. And I was like, I did not know that they came out with the whole Sunflower line. I'm not really sure where I was or what I was doing or what was happening or what was going on, I was just like, uh, let me just go ahead and try them out. And I couldn't find a scent to smell at Target or Walmart, no other places that actually sold it. Macy's didn't even have sunflowers out. She didn't even have a sampler or anything. She said she was out of stock. I was like, girl, what is going on? Anyway, so the first one I got and there's a Sunflowers line by Elizabeth Arden. This is Summer Air. And this is what it looks like. It's definitely a whole lot lighter than Sunflowers. Let me show you. Sunflowers is a darker amber. So this one is definitely lighter. So I'm going to go ahead and let's go ahead and do the smell test. Let's see what it smells like. I don't know why I shook it. Oh, that's beautiful. It's a little floral, but not too much. And all of these are uh, Edu toilets. I'm sorry if I didn't tell you that. They're all Edu toilets and they're all 3.3 .3 fluid ounces. But this is a really light scent. It's like the airy version of the sunflower. So I get it why they called it summer air. It's like a summer, it literally smells like its name. If you guys know what sunflowers smell like, imagine sunflowers lightened up to be super wearable in the summertime with all the heat and a whole bunch of clean, fresh air. That's exactly what that smells like. I'm not really getting any notes. If it's flowers, it's got to be very minimum with the flowers. The next scent that I'm going to um, smell huh, is not quite as dark. It's darker than summer air, but not quite as dark as the original. This is Sunlight Kiss. So let's go ahead and see what Sunlight Kiss smells like. 
It's romantic. It's super romantic. You know Elizabeth Arden Red Door and how strong it is, but just how timeless and beautiful that smells. This smells like Red Door, super watered down. So this becomes more wearable for a lot of people who can't wear Red Door because that is the strongest perfume I've ever smelled in my life. That perfume projects the furthest that I've ever smelled. When I wear that perfume from time to time, I give people around me a headache. That's how strong Elizabeth Arden's Red Door is. So imagine that drilled all the way down. Same notes, same, same bouquet of scents wrapped together but imagine it dialed all the way back down to be an everyday wearable scent that's not intrusive and it still has some projection that's exactly what this smells like i like it obviously i like it um the last one i have in the sunflower range this one is summer bloom so all of these are yeah Summer, summer type uh, scents. They did have some other ones, but I was reading the notes and looking at them and I wasn't interested. This is just completely white compared to the other one. So let's smell this one. This one is so light and airy. It's forgettable. It's, it's, it's nice. The dry down is really nice on this scent. It's light, it's fun, it's, it's light, it's fun, it's flirty, it's an everyday. The dry down is starting to get a little heavy with some type of rose, some type of flower in there, but it starts to get just a little bit of heavy with that. But it's still really light, airy, flirty. It's very TikTok-y. I would consider this a very appropriate teenage scent. And then again, this is Sunflower Summer Bloom by Elizabeth Arden. This is just one of them scents, like pink sugar. It's pink sugar, guys. So, Pink Sugar is just one of those classic timeless scents. This is a Rhea. Uh, um, comes in a gift set. This gift set comes with the Edu Toilet 3.4 fluid ounces, the Creamy Body Lotion 8.45 fluid ounces, and the Hair Perfume 3.38 fluid ounces. The perfume itself I've only really bought once in my life, and that was probably back in 2011, 12, somewhere in there. Um, what I always buy and what I always get is the actual hair fragrance. Now this, this little hairspray thing, man, I can tell you guys, I've probably brought these every 18 months. I literally buy these, if not every year, every other year. And whenever it's time for me to wash my hair or if it's getting close to wash day and I'm not ready quite to go through that whole process of washing my hair, I'll go ahead and spray a little dry shampoo in my hair and juice that up. And then I'll spray this right after it into my hair. And all you do, literally, is just take and you definitely want to get down to your actual root area and just spray and it leaves your hair, it's so light. It's kind of like a baby powder smell, but not really, but it's so light and fresh, kind of baby powder. But it's so light and fresh, and as you move around, your hair just smells so nice. This is one of those light, fresh, sexy, flirty scents that you just spray in your hair, and he'll just be like, your hair smells good. Go ahead. Yeah, this is this 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 I always buy because of the actual scent right here. 100% hands down, it's always gonna be this scent right here. Um, the body lotion, yeah, it's a it's not a deal breaker for me with this particular scent. Now we're gonna get into arguably one of my favorite scents. This is top five. This is top five just because it's thick, it's sultry, it's sexy, it's long lasting, it has, it has projection, it's inviting, it's mesmerizing. It is Vince Camucho, and this is the original Vince Camucho. So the body sprays I get all the time. I went ahead and grabbed four of them. I typically get them from like Walmart, from TJ Maxx, Burlington, um, Ross, uh, I've 
seen them a few times at Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid. But here lately in the past, I want to say year, on my side of Metro Atlanta, it's been very hard for me to find them. Very hard for me to find them. And I was like, forget it. Because I went online and I was looking online. And they were like 11 and $12 online. But at FragranceNet.com, I was able to find them for almost half that price. So I went ahead and snagged four of them. I love these body sprays. Again, whenever we're going out smoking hookah, if we're going to a seafood bar, especially in the summertime, in and out of different stores, in and out of different places, I'm a, I'm a girly girl in, 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 in the way I feel and smell. I like to smell very feminine. So for me, smelling like the outdoors, you know how little kids be running in and out of the house? Mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm -mm. I'm too grown and too old for that. No, 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 no. Especially just being in different places, like in the nighttime, like when I finish taking a shower or whatever, I'll go ahead and do my body care and skincare routine, and I'll just spritz this over my nighttime attire and my body and whether it doesn't matter if I'm single, if I'm married, or if I'm in a relationship, if I'm dating somebody, none of that matters because I don't do any of that for him. I do it all for me. You know what I'm saying? So this is my everyday, nighttime, daytime, whatever, it doesn't matter type scent, especially if I'm out and about at an event or at a basketball game or a football game or anything like that. Just And I get back to the car and I'm like, just 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 a refresher scent before I get ready to go to dinner or whatever it may be. These gonna be boo. These are bae. Especially um ladies. Uh, happy hour, getting off work. Obviously you should still smell great when you get off work. But getting off work, you can just go ahead and just spritz that in the bathroom when you leave and work and just go meet your girls at the bar, the spot, or whatever it is you guys are doing. I like that scent so much. I wanted to actually see what the actual scent actually smells like. So I went ahead and got the actual big one. Don't ask me why, when I be getting scents that I've never smelled before, why I just don't get like the one ounce or the travel size just to, you know, try it out first. Why I always gotta go immediately to the big boy size. But I went ahead and got the Udu Parfume um, in 3.4 ounces. And I just wanna be able to smell what she smells like. Ooh. I love his bottles. His bottles are so cute. And I like the little the little money coin on the front. That's cute. Let's go ahead and smell it. Let's see. Oh yeah. 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 100 percent yeah. I could almost see running my errands and doing all of that. These, they just smell so amazing. If you guys ever have a chance to try Viscomutual in the actual white box, the original one, oh, I, I, all I can tell you guys is you, 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 this is, this is a scent you've got to try. This is a scent you just, if you sit in Walmart or Target and you get this, this is very reminiscent of the actual Udu, Udu perfume itself. The notes are so sultry. They're so warm. They're so inviting. It's a... Uh, this is an undescribable scent for me. It almost smells like white patchouli a little bit, but I know good and darn well they ain't got white patchouli in here, but it almost puts me in that mindset. It is floral. It does have a little bit of floral currants in it. That much I definitely can smell, but it's such a beautiful, sexy scent. It's a date night scent. It's a wedding scent. It's got a little bit of heavy rose in there too, just a little bit. But the way they, the way the scents sit and ride on top of each other, the way the layers are built, it's so beautiful. I know some people will smell that scent and say, "Hey, it smell like you know older women, um, fifty and older." That may be a scent for them, but for me, it's just a scent I absolutely love. If you think sunflowers is an old lady scent, then you're not going to like Vince Camucho. Put it like this. If you like sunflowers, then you'll like Vince Camucho. Just to give you guys kind of some type of perception as far as the scent is concerned. Now, Scentbird is the vein of my, my vein, vein of my existence. 
to the point to where I went ahead and canceled my temporary subscription. One, I'm trying to do some other things and make some other stuff happen in my life anyway. So I was going to cancel it anyway. But plus, it was also the bane of my existence. Because I would get a cent month after month after month. And half the months, I didn't like the cents anyway. But on the months where I actually did like the cent, it added an extra expense to my budget. Because I just had to have that cent. <sighs> That's what happened with this. This came in from Sinbird, and this is the Vince Camucho, Capri Vince Camucho. So when this came in and I smelled this, I was just like, it smells so amazing. It smells like Venice and the beach and the seaside wrapped in clouds with a little honeydew, but it's grounded in some type of amber or myrrh it is such a beautiful scent it was so amazing and i did not use my 15 dollars to go ahead and order the one ounce on scent bird it was such an amazing scent i knew i was gonna want something bigger than a one ounce of the actual scent so you know me being who i am i went ahead and ordered the big boy for the actual scent and when i tell you they smell so good guys this smells so good. I want to see what the bottle actually looks like. Oh, this bottle is pretty. This is the blue bottle with the silver top and the, obviously the silver key. But this smells so good. All I can remember is just... When it first sprays out, let me go ahead and give you guys that initial spray. When it first sprays out, it's super sweet, almost unbearably sweet for me with alcohol. And this is the Udu perfume as well. But the beauty of this scent comes in the dry down. So if you can get past the first initial smack in your face, sweet, sweet, super sweet scent, that's when you'll start to smell the saltiness start to come through the scent. You'll start to smell the sands come through the scent. You'll start to smell the deeper uh, base notes actually come through and settle and ride in on the scent. I promise you, it smells like Venice. It smells like Greece. It smells like the seaside, the salt. The sun, the clouds, all of that. If you could take and just put it into a scent, that's exactly what it actually smells like. And this, mm, mm, mm. I don't even, I don't even, I, I, I gave up on rank, trying to rank my scents a long, long time ago because I'd be failing miserably because all of my scents that I actually keep and have, they mean something to me. They smell just amazing. And the projection, the projection on a Vince Camucho scent. Okay, Cam Camacho, Camucho, uh, probably not saying that right. But the projection on a Vince scent. Let's be clear. The projection on this is pretty dynamic. Um, people can be three to five feet away from you and get a whiff of it, a scent of it. Um, very close, intimate contact. It may be a little strong for that. I'm just letting you know that on date night, if it's on your clothes, it's not a problem. But if you guys are having adult date night, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> this is too strong for that. So I would not actually use that for that because you don't want to be laying next to somebody or sleeping next to somebody and their cologne and perfume is so strong, it's starting to irritate your sinuses or give you a headache because you're literally laying there with them for the next six to eight hours. Ain't nobody got time for that. So this is a, a vent type of spray is what I would call it. I wouldn't necessarily say it's an everyday sprint, uh, everyday spray. It's a wedding day. Oh my God, this is a bride smelling like this. Kissed by Jesus, I promise you. Um, this is a gala, a ball event. Um, today is Veterans Day. So if they were still having, thanks to coronavirus, not, but if they were still having like the military ball and things, this would be amazing for the wives to wear to the military ball. Oh my God. Um, prom, oh my God. Like your honeymoon, oh Jesus. Like in this scent, it, as long as you're not ending your night with a nightcap with Bay, 
Um, you can go ahead and spray this on your body and your clothes, but if you know that you're ending your evening with someone and you're not taking a shower prior to that, then this is a little too strong for that. And the longevity of the vents, Camucho, uh, Camuto, Camuto, uh, Camuto, okay, I can't, I don't want to mess up the last name of the brand, but the longevity of these scents easily i can spray mine on before i go to work around 4 4 30 a.m and literally when i get back home 7 30 8 o'clock in the evening i can still smell it still smell it and that's before i even get ready to take you know my bra and stuff off because ladies you know when you're sitting stuff you can really tell and smell your scents when you're taking your shirt off and when you're taking your bra off that's when you can really smell your scents finito amazing the next thing I went ahead and got, this is the Itene. Oh, I'm so crazy. Uh, yeah, because they, they they got it in weird writing. It's a poor femme. It's a Udu perfume. But it says Itene, Agener, Agener. I don't know, child. They, they, they got it written so funny on the front of the box, I can't even read the font that they're using. I wish brands would understand fonting. That's me and my marketing background. And my design background, font is everything. Like if you have the prettiest, you can have the prettiest whatever it is. But if you use a crazy font that's not compatible with different systems or people can't read. Let me get to it. Let me try to smell the scent. Even on the bottle, Itene Argoner. I don't know. But what I went ahead and did, I went ahead and searched Gourmand. Since you guys know I love Gourmand, Pink Pepper, and different things like that. I went ahead and searched Gourmand scents on FragranceNet.com. And this one came up highly rated. Oh my God, this smells like the 90s. This smells like Avon. This is a very nostalgic scent. When it first sprays out, it immediately hits you in the face with the 90s. You immediately like Saved by the Bell, Blossom, uh, Woody Whip. No, that was the 80s. But this is definitely the 90s in a bottle. The dry down on this is smooth, like a smooth cognac. Very, very smooth. The dry down on this is romantic. It's a very feminine scent. It is just a little sweet. I don't smell any gourmand in this. There's no chocolate. There's no rich, bold body to it. It's a very sultry, sultry. It's sultry and smooth. It's almost like cognac in a spray. That's the best way I could actually explain this. Not that the fact that it smells like alcohol because it doesn't smell like alcohol. It's a beautiful scent. This is just a very nostalgic scent. Oh my God, that is amazing. That's amazing. Of course, I'm leaving a name and everything on the screen for you guys. So don't get mad at me with butchering these names. Now, we are about to go ahead and get into some of these other scents. Now, if my baby daddy was a sin, this is what he would be. And I'm not saying my baby daddy is in my children's father. I'm just saying I want this guy to be my baby daddy just 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 just, just simply because his scents the way they curate their scents, the way he finds his scents, the way his people just I'm just astonished and amazed. I don't know what took me so long to even find out about him. He's not a new designer. They're not a new fragrance house or anything. I'm talking about, of course, your boy, Salvatore Ferragamo. Oh, my God. Fer Ferragamo. Oh, my God. This is... Whew. Every scent that I smell from him, except for two that came in from Scentbird, have just grabbed my heart, just completely taken me. I have two of his scents already in my room. This one is the Timo, and this is a little old floral, and this is the, it's the toilet, and it's 1.7 fluid ounces. So let's go ahead and take this out, and let's go ahead and give her a little spray. That's really cute. I like the way the bottle is made. Can y'all hear that? 
I like the way the bottle is made. So even if you don't know why with these bigger bottles, but if you throw this in your bag or your purse or you throw this in your luggage or whatever, you're not worried about the top almost slipping off and this breaking and it just being horrible as far as having to get your scent out with the atomizer. I, I really like when brands pay attention to the design of his name right here on the cap, the way the cap is set up. The double cap on the inside, which prevents it from cracking and different things. And then you just have a bottle like this because top then broke. Yeah. Let's go ahead and give this a spray. Let's see what it smells like. After a while, I'm just going to be lost with the scents. This, okay, so, okay, so let's have this conversation. The initial spray on this is light in alcohol and pink pepper. I love pink pepper in a scent because it adds a little spice, but it's not too spicy. Yeah, this is spicy and floral. So for this one, I'm trying to get to the dry down on the scent because it's a 50-50 for me if I'm keeping it or giving it away. Okay, so that's a spicy flower field that's a little heavy. The projection isn't strong, strong. So it's it's something where someone would have to be within two feet of your radius to even smell it. There's a scent in here that I just... Okay, so this scent is it's something there. It's either white peony, pine, or something. It's, it's, I don't know if it's two bros and the way it's interacting with the other scents they layered in here, but it immediately gave me a tickle at the back of my throat. And it's something there that, it's not quite pine saw. I don't want to say that. It's not quite pine saw. It's a nice, warm, spicy, sultry scent that settles and sits on you. It's like if you have a perfume and it's just radiating right here and it's just sitting right here, it's not actually on you. It's just right here just covering you like a blanket. That's what this smells like, but it's not the type of scent the way I like to smell. So I'll go ahead and give this to my son. My 20 year old, yeah, I'll go ahead and give this to my 20 year old because this is not quite the way I per personally like the smell. It's not necessarily my thing. Um, the scent that I do go crazy about though is the Salvatore Ferragamama, and this is the Encanto Charms. Encanta, Encanto Charms. Oh my god, when Sinbird sent this to me, I don't know why. I just sprayed it MML. I'm so retarded. Okay, so I don't know why I didn't go ahead and redeem the $15. You know, with Scentbird, that month, if you like the scent, you can go ahead and redeem it. It gives you a store credit where you can redeem it for, I think they always have like the one ounce bottle on the actual site and you get $15 off of whatever that price is. Um, I never did. I'm, I'm, I'm so so lame. I only redeemed like one or two items on the actual site, which is so crazy. But this is Encanto Encan Charms. When I tell you this is just, one, the bottle is beautiful. The bottle is just beautiful. And <sighs> see these little these little plastic ones, after a while, they can crack and break, so eh, be careful about it. I like the other top a whole lot better, that double cap, but this smells so good. And the reason why I always tell you guys to either go into the store to smell it, go into the mall to smell it, join Scentbird and start to get the scents on Scentbird before you actually get it, because anytime you're ordering from any of these discount websites, even if you're ordering from Amazon or Walmart, from time to time, they do have and ship fake fragrances. And if you don't know what the real fragrance should smell like, how would you actually know? So I have my actual Scentbird scent, so I know exactly what the fragrance should smell like. It's a little pear, it's a little apple. I don't like fruit, but it works for this. It just... It just works. It's just, it's, it's, it's a light scent. 
it's a refreshing scent. It's a beautiful, sultry scent. It's just, it's just one of those scents that is everything but offensive. It's everything but intrusive. It is a projection of about maybe three feet from you. So is it appropriate for church? No, because the person sitting next to you, directly in front of you, directly behind you, directly to the side of you, your scent may start to get on their nerves if you're constantly moving around, catching the Holy Ghost, whatever. Anybody got time for that? If you have on a strong scent, and it could be offensive to people who are scent sensitive around you. Um, is this a scent for work? No. Unless you just the boss. You know what I'm saying? Maybe. Um, this is a scent for everything else. Hanging out with the girls, going out to the club, to a party, to a bar, to a lounge, or whatever it is. This is a, a this is everything else type of scent for me. Um if you are wedding guests, yeah. Um, going to the prom, I, I already told you guys how I feel about that. I, 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 I'm not a fan of super sexy, inviting, mesmerizing scents on children under the age of 17. I'm not a fan of that. Anything else, yeah, this is a great type of scent for that. Next thing we're going to go ahead and get into. Okay, so this is a re-up. Because I went ahead and sprayed the last little bit of the bottle that I actually had. You know, I don't even know why I get all the way down to my last one spray. And I'll be like, oh, I need to order another one. I'm, I'm just one of those people. Instead of looking at your bottle and be like, okay, I only have maybe three or four more uses in it. I probably need to go ahead and place the order real quick. I'll wait until I'm sitting up there like, shh, 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 shh. it ain't nothing else coming out. And I'm like, ugh. So this is a real for me. This is Calvin Klein's Euphoria. And this is the Udu Parfume. Oh my God. This is, again, a nostalgic 90s. You already know what it is. If, if, if you know this scent, you know this scent. If you are intrigued with this, then you are intrigued with this. You already know. You already know. Calvin Klein, Calvin Klein's Euphoria. Even. Euphoria. It sounds like I'm saying Sephora. Okay, it's Euphoria. It's just it's it's soft. It's kind. It's romantic. It's a little baby powder. It's sultry. It's sexy. It's rounded out with some ambers and some musk and some sandalwood. It is a 24/7 type scent. This is a you and your confidence can wear this anytime, any place type scent. You want to wear it to the beach, knock yourself out. You want to wear it to a wedding, knock yourself out. You want to wear it to church, sit some other seats down, but I'm over here feeling good and I smell good. You know what I'm saying? You want to wear it to work? It's other cubicles in here you can sit, Jessica. It's other cubicles you can sit in, Jessica. Like, this is one of those, you a boss and you know it and you don't put up with other folks shit. This is this type of scent. This, this scent. It's, it is, it, 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 what the dry down is when the attitude leaves just a little bit. So you done went from telling Jessica she can go to hell in a handbasket at work to just you actually getting up and moving a cubicle over. The, 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 the dry down in this scent is where the sweetness starts to come into play. That's when the sweetness of the note starts to rise to the top. That's the reason why I say it's very appropriate for a date night or evening with boo because the sweetness and the sultriness of the scent is very warm it's, it's very inviting so it's definitely whoever you're with they're definitely going to want to grab and hold you close and just be right up underneath you that's euphoria but you know that's also the definition of the actual word you know what i'm saying the uh you getting pregnant boo or uh you getting somebody pregnant they have euphoria for men too the next thing that I have is Bovari. So with this scent, it's Omnia Indian Gardener. I liked it so much. I bought it twice. I ordered it back to back months with Scentbird. I liked it so much. I used the first one almost down to just one spray left. And then I had this left and I've been around there just hoarding like, mm -hmm. this scent is so beautiful. It's so 
It's so sexy. It immediately comes out super sweet, but it it, it, it has a grounding of amber and a little bit of tuberose in it. Now, imagine what I smell like right now. But I'm home alone with my damn cat. If I had a guy right here, if I had a guy right now at the house, he would just be like, you smell good, come here. Ain't nobody here but me and these damn cats right now. My kids at work, so, hmm. But anyway, so, this scent, it is so, it's so sexy. It's so amazing. I didn't even show you guys the box. I'm already just busted it open. Okay, that's, that's cute, but I don't care about boxes because I don't keep boxes like that. Um, this scent, oh my God. I tried to get it from some other places, but they were sold out. And I was just like, Ugh. but this scent is just, it's so pretty. When you first spray it, it is a Ebu Toilet, Ebu Toilet. Now, I'm going to tell you that certain fragrance houses, their Edu toilets smell like other fragrance houses' Edu perfume. Some brands just naturally add more oils, more oops to their actual fragrances, and they just use better quality product, better, better quality ingredients. So the finished product for one company could cost $150 for you to buy as a consumer and it smells like a $30 perfume or cologne where another company could have a finished product that costs $80 for you to buy as a consumer and it smells like a $600 bottle. That's definitely these right here. Now, not all of them. There are some of them that I smell and I just put back on the shelf and just kept walking on down the aisle because it just wasn't my cup of tea. But this one, this one is, this one is romantic, it's sexy, it's feisty, it's fiery, it's submissive, it's, it just has such beautiful notes. Again, I'm going to leave the notes for this particular one on the screen for you guys because this, the notes on this one, the notes on this one, honey, you just got to know. It's so pretty and amazing. It's just like, oh, oh my God, like. Yeah, I, I'm almost thinking it's the amber and the different things in it that's just really calling my name to actually get it like that. Now, the next one that I went ahead and got, this is Scentbird Fault. Because with Scentbird, I went ahead and got the Prada Luna Rosa, the Edu Toilet from uh, Scentbird. And it, was, it smelled so good. It's very rare that I actually just go through and spray my fragrances. I may spray them on walk-off and... Never ever pick that thing up again for another year or two. Um, recently, I just started just going through my scent bird scent and just spraying them before I went to work. Whether I like the smell or not, I would just spray it and just go to work. But when I tell you Prada Luna Rosa, I know a lot of you guys already have this. A lot of you guys are already like, Lynn, you late? That That's that. That scent is one of the tried and true, like, OG scents. Like, what are you doing? But when I tell you, it's just, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Like, I just, hmm. That's an unusual cap. I've never really repositioned when carry. Oh, why don't they just tell you to put the top back on when you're carrying? I'm confused. They have a little note on the top, and I'm just sitting up here like, what? Anyway, so with this one, I like to always smell what I know. The real scent smells like, which is sweet, is, is light, is airy, is for a grown woman, is very romantic. It's a very, I would put this in the floral category with just a little bit of spice. It's something in here giving it a little spice. So let's go ahead and smell the one in from them. Same thing. Something in here, when it first smells out, is giving me just a tag. Just, just a little small tag 
of actual pine, but that quickly dissipates on the actual dry down. The dry down in this scent is when it becomes a very soft, romantic, inviting type of scent. This is a scent you guys can wear anywhere and do anything with. Doesn't matter if you're going to a wedding or you're the bride uh, yourself. This is an everyday, um, it doesn't matter if you're trying to set yourself up for a signature scent. That can definitely be one. Again, it's an OG scent. I'm late to the game. The rest of y'all are probably like, man, I've had like three or four of them sitting on my vanity for my perfume. Like, we didn't get your life. But the next scent that I went ahead and got is because of that girl, Gina, here on YouTube. She was doing her clothing haul and talking about different things. You know, your thick best friend. Everybody, every girl, what did she say? Every girl needs a thick best friend or everybody needs a thick best friend or whatever. Y'all know Gina. So she was doing a haul and she had went to Saks Off Fifth doing their uh, sale that they had like three, four weeks ago. And she had ordered a Prada scent. And she was just talking about how great and amazing it smelled. Blah, blah, blah. She was going on and on about the scent. And I was like, okay, okay, I want to go ahead and try it out. So I was on FragranceNet.com and I was looking at it. I found it and went ahead and added it to my buggy. And it suggested this scent. And I was reading the comments and everybody was like, this is the banger. This is the winner. So this is the La Femme Prada. And this is the intense version of it. And this is the Udu Perfume. And this is the 1.7 ounce. Yeah, it, it pretty much matches everything about my little outfit right now. Let's go ahead and give this a smell. Let's try to spray it on this side. It's light. It's pretty. A little baby powder, but it's, it's, it's really hard to detect the actual baby powder in the actual scent. I just know it's one of the scents that I don't like. So if I detect this there, you have to do really well with your layering and your other ingredients for me to actually like the actual scent. But this one is really, really, this one is nice. Oh, there you go. There you go. The dry down. The dry down remind you of scents from the early 2000s where they played no games, they spared no expenses. Whatever type of money you were spending for a scent was well worth it. I almost, I almost feel like since nowadays, are uh, all watered down to certain, to certain, to certain degrees, because when you look at scents from the '60s, the '70s, the '80s, the early '90s, they were just more potent scents to the where women back in the '30s, '40s, '50s, '60s, and '70s they had signature scents because those scents were just that good. Very few of those scents have transitioned over the age and time and different generations for people my age and younger to start to buy and get. But as I get older, I'm drawn to certain more adult, romantic, timeless scents. This is a very adult, romantic, timeless scent. So that girl, Gina, this is the one that she had. But she had got it in the gift set with little teddy bear gift set and different things. But this is the La Femme Prada. And this is the Udu Perfume in 3.4 fluid ounces. I want to go ahead and smell this one. Because if that's supposed to be the intent, the dry down on that is beautiful. That is a beautiful dry down. It's sweet. It's soft. It's romantic. But at the same time, it's a very submissive scent. Like... Prada has different tube roses and flowers and peonies. And it's so hard to, I don't smell any patchouli, but patchouli, but the way Prada does their scents, I just, Prada is just another one of those houses when it comes to scents, they just do it very, very well. But let's go ahead and take a look at this one. Hmm, they damaged my box. Hmm, my box all damaged. Okay. I like the whole little leather embossment thing they have on them. That's really nice. But I don't care about that. Let's go ahead and get to the scent. Okay, uh, oh, I don't have anything left to spray. Alcohol, 
that's on the initial spray. But you know, the beauty is in the dry down. The beauty is in the dry down. Sometimes you just gotta let stuff go. This, the dry down on the Timo, I'm sitting up here trying to make it make sense is what I'm trying to do. Yeah, the dry down on this, it, 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 it completely dried down and completely faded out a little bit. That's weird for Salvatore. That's 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 weird. I don't I don't I don't get it. This one is giving me very much so 1990s woman. And when I say 1990s woman, I'm just talking about the way grown women smell. Like it was very grown woman type smell. Um, how can I say this? It's it is it's not necessarily my cup of tea. It smells like a heavy, very heavy Avon scent. So I just, it's meaty. It's a very meaty scent. It's a very heavy, meaty scent. And the projection, there isn't that much projection. For it to be a very heavy, meaty scent, when I say meaty, it's just like, it's a lot. It's a lot happening with the actual scent. The projection isn't there like that at all, which is weird to me, but when you get close, that's when it just gets super strong. It's, it's almost like, it's almost like a mosquito. You don't hear or or you don't hear it while it's out here, but as soon as it gets here, it's like really loud and then it just fades out. That's this. The closer you get to me, the louder it gets. And it's so loud that for me, I could not I couldn't wear it up top. I would literally spray this on the bottom, like below my belly button and the small of my back and just flail around and just get the moving around like that and that's it. I couldn't spray it on my chest or my shirt or the top part of my dresses or blouses or anything like that because it's, it would give me a headache and it would open up my sinuses. So for me, I know how I react to fragrances and I know I wouldn't have a great reaction to this. But the more and more it dries down, the sweetness starts to come through and it's a very feminine scent, a soft, fem feminine, refined. Imagine, I imagine this is what Meghan Markle would smell like. This is what Princess Diana may have smelled like. This scent on the dry down, the, okay, the dry, dry down is very regal. It's very refined. It's very classy. It's very, oh my God, it's very royal. And the more and more it dries down, the softer it gets. The most, the the it's, it's not as offensive. It's not as intrusive. It's dare I say, it's inviting. It's a sexy scent. You know what? I didn't spoke too soon. Sometimes I've said this once. I've said it before. I say this every time I talk to y'all about perfume and cologne. Sometimes the beauty in a scent is in the dry down. And sometimes you just really got to let you, sometimes you really got to let it marinate and just really let it dry down and come back and revisit it, which is why I keep revisiting this. And I just know it's not for me. It's, it's, it's not that it's bad. It's just, I have way too many other great, amazing scents to have on a scale of one to 10. This is a strong 1.25. It's not going to stay in my collection. Not going to stay in my collection. Not when... I got a scent that's easily a 9.2 or I got a scent that's just a 10 across the board in my collection. Now, nah, it's not going to say not for me, but this, the more and more it dries, the softer it gets, the sweeter it gets, but not insanely sweet in a mind-boggling, nauseating type way. It's just very regal and raw, and now I understand why it's always sold out, and I understand why they ran it and raved about the actual scent. Because at first, I was like, girl, boo -bye. I'm finna get this away. But this, this smells like, this smells like you got a coach bag and it's real. This smells like you got a Prada bag and it's real. This, you, this, 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 this is this smells like refinery. This smells like maturity. But when I say it smells like maturity, I'm not talking about it smells like maturity as in trying to be funny, talking about older people. I'm saying maturity as in 
it smells like you grew up, you found yourself, and you living your best life. That's what it smells like. Okay, so the final thing that I went ahead and got in, I went ahead and got the Versace Eros. And yeah, I have some other perfumes and colognes I need to go over here with you guys. But it won't be tonight because I'm I'm almost smoke. I'm, I'm I'm almost out of smells. I'm almost out of smells. My nose is like if I was one of them crack cocaine dogs at, at, at the airport, I would be out of it at this point. I think I got one more scent left in me. So the Versace Arrows gift set actually comes with, okay, let's just read it off here. It comes with the Invigorating Shower Gel, which is five U.S. fluid ounces. It comes with the Idu Toilet Travel Spray, which is 0.3 fluid ounces. And it comes with the Idu Toilet uh, Spray in 3.4 ounces. So this is what this comes like. This is what this looks like. And again, this is just one of those scents like uh, Creed Aventus. Like, it's not a new scent. A lot of people have re-upped on it. But for me, I've just been like, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I ain't got it yet. I'm so sad. I'm so, so sad all the time. Can we get mm. This is why I don't like having nails. Because... I would just be able to just get in here and just do what I got to do. But I always got to go find some type of contraption to do something. This is going to be my last spray because I, 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 I can't, I can't, I can't. I have no place free on me to actually spray to where it even, I can smell it and make sense. It smells so good. It smells so good. Oh my God, it sprays out alcohol, but then it immediately warms up to this blue flower, this, this, this power, this masculinity that on a woman, you smell like a boss, honey. Something is spicy in here. Something is definitely spicy and I like it. Like King Julian, I, look, I don't know what's spicy in here, but it smells Freaking amazing. Oh, okay, so Eros. Eros is just one of those scents that I, I want to say a good 60% of men have on their dresser already. But the beauty in this conversation is, ladies, I've been telling y'all for two years now, go play in the cologne section because sometimes some of their scents on our bodies with our chemistries, not sprayed quite as heavy, just be very light with your actual spray. But sometimes their scents on us smells better than anything they can create in the perfume section for us, which is weird. And they stuff is cheaper and they stuff go on sale more. I could just do a whole video ranting about why do guys stuff, why is their stuff cheaper? Why does it go on sale more often? And, and why is it bigger items? hate it but this is so sexy so inviting on a man you're definitely gonna want to crawl yeah. okay so this is very this is a very intimate power masculine scent on a man you're definitely gonna want to be in his presence you're gonna just yes sir no sir it's it's, it's a scent on a man that makes a woman a little more submissive obviously when a man smells good it's just it's just it's just it's just, okay let's be honest when a man smells good and he look good girl you be like hi my name is lynn and i sell crack for a little i'm just playing let me stop i actually do sell crack well i don't sell it i make it <laughs> y'all breakfast cereals <laughs> Uh, oh my God, it's so amazing. Anyway, so back to what I was saying. So on a man, you're going to want to just snuggle up underneath him, be in his presence. You're definitely going to want to be underneath his neck, on his chest. This is definitely movie night. You know, I would not necessarily say going to bed in this. This is too strong for going to bed. 
But if you guys are just sitting there chilling Netflix and chill, or he just got home from work or whatever it may be, or you guys are going on a date night, this is a beautiful date night scent. This is a beautiful, uh, for his wedding day, this is a beautiful prom scent. Mm. Mm. He better be 17 going to the prom with this scent. That's all I'm going to say. But uh, this is very much so everyday power scent. It, it, it looked like he pulled up. This scent smelled like he pulled up in a um, sports car. It definitely, it looked like he got on some leather shoes and he pulled up in a sports car. Yeah, and his watch is real. See, I've been making these little snarky comments because I live in Atlanta and 80% and, uh, and of the stuff for the people you see here in Atlanta, it's not real, it's granted. So I have snarky comments all day, every day, like, why would you live your life at a rented level when you could just invest and slowly build to that level in real life? I, just, I, I digress back to the scent. Now, on women, this is the part of the video for you. On women, what I would actually say is it's a very much so boss woman type of scent. This woman, she play no games. She take no shit. She's not taking no names because she's not here for your stuff. So, uh... It is, it is so beautifully amazing. And I don't know if that's blue agave that I keep smelling. Part of me wants to say that's blue agave. I'm going to leave a sense. I'm going to leave a sense for this one on the screen as well. But I don't know what took me so long to get Versace Eros because it's a beautiful scent. I get it all the time in the little samplers that come in from Ulta and Sephora, the little books that come in from Ulta that always have them in them, always keep them and use them. I don't know. I'm, I'm just so cheap. Let me, okay, guys, I'm cheap. Like, I I don't want to, if I don't have to spend the money for it, I won't. I'll just wait and wait and wait. I'll try to find a coupon or a sale. Guys, um, look, if, if Gina's your thick best friend, I'm your cheap best friend. Like, I'm so cheap. Like, I just be like, but it's going to be on sale for Black Friday. We don't have to get it now. They be like, yeah, but it's May 14th. Yeah, but it'll be on sale in like six months. We can wait. <laughs> That's what it percent me. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much. This is the end of the video. This is everything that I wanted to come and show you guys. Kind of got a little lengthy because I get a little chatty. Get the point, Lynn. Anyway, I love you guys. I know we're coming up on Thanksgiving. I want you guys to have a safe, wonderful time with your family. If you're traveling, driving, or flying, or whatever it may be. Definitely be safe, guys. Definitely go ahead and wear your mask. Be so safe. Just do your part to stay, stay safe and keep your family safe. And we've reached that part where I always say, I don't care when you watch me in the morning, afternoon, even in the late at night. <laughs> at this point, you guys know, I'm just happy that you chose to come spend some time with your girl. You know I love you, but you already know. Until next time, thank you, YouTube.